Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. In today's video, we are going to cover up some topics related to the uh, subject of uh, network theory or circuit theory and uh, the concepts which we are going to discuss okay is mesh analysis involving current sources okay this is the specific concept which we are going to discuss today okay mesh analysis involving current sources so in short what uh, we are trying to say is that whenever a uh, current source is involved in a circuit network how are we going to deal with it using the concept of mesh analysis to determine whatever parameters being asked whether it is voltage current normally current is asked in mesh analysis so we are going to discuss that now before we discuss uh, this in detail whenever you come across any circuit related to mesh analysis or nodal analysis whatever a basic circuit network whenever you have current sources involved in it it must be in one of the following two types first one is let's let us suppose there is a circuit here okay there is a voltage source so resistors two resistors let this voltage source be v this is r1 this is r2 r3 and here there is a there is an independent current source with i here this independent current source is located at one side at one end of the circuit network so if you look at this circuit here there is ground so if you look at this circuit there are two meshes mesh 1 and this is mesh 2 this is the first mesh this is the second mesh or you can consider this as the first mesh this as the second mesh it's up to you but here this current source this independent current source it belongs to the this mesh okay only this mesh it is not associated with this mesh okay so this is a type 1 configuration of mesh analysis involving current sources and uh, another way in which uh, you can may, may find circuits is like this same voltage source we have a resistor here the current source is in between okay the current source is in between okay so here it does not belong specifically to any one mesh it is common to both mesh okay to this mesh and also to this mesh so this type of circuit this is type 1 this is type So this type 1 circuit, it is quite straightforward, it is easy to solve, okay, it means it is straightforward. But this type 2 circuit, it can be a little tricky, it is not difficult, it can be a little tricky. So this type 2 configuration of mesh analysis with current sources in between or common to all the meshes or the involved meshes is called as a super mesh, okay, super mesh mesh so what is a super mesh it is a group of meshes or closed paths in a circuit network with a common current source okay with a common current source okay so that is called as a super mesh so 
So, we will discuss these two configurations separately in separate videos in detail and we will discuss the examples associated with them. Okay? So, we are going to consider the type 1 configuration of mesh analysis involving current sources. So, here we have taken a very simple circuit for analysis. Now, by just looking at the circuit, you can make out that it is a type 1 mesh analysis circuit involving current sources. Why? Because this independent current source, this 5 ampere independent current source, it is located at one end okay, of the circuit network. So, it belongs to this mesh, okay, this mesh involving 6 ohm, 3 ohm and this 5 ampere they constitute one mesh. It, it, is, it is not here. It has no contribution or relationship with this first mesh. If we, if I call this as the first and this as the second mesh, it belongs entirely to the second mesh. It is not related to the first mesh. So, let us uh, solve this circuit. So, if we want to determine the individual branch currents, okay. So, let us assign this branch current as I1, this branch current as I2 and this branch current as I3, okay, this branch current as I3. Now, if you look closely at this circuit, yeah, I3 and 5 ampere, they are in opposite directions. So, one thing which we can derive from this circuit means I3 is equal to minus 5 ampere. This is the first thing. Another thing this here I2, this I2, if we apply Kirchhoff's current law at this point, okay, Kirchhoff's current law at this point, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3, okay, I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 or we substitute the value of I3 here. So, I1 is equal to I2 minus 5. Okay, I1 is equal to I2 minus 5. This is the second point that we have to note down. Now, we will use this in the KVL equations. So, let us write the first KVL equation in the first mesh. So, I am using the second sign dominating method of KVL. I have posted video related to the basic concepts about application of KVL in my channel. So, you please check out those videos and I recommend you to please watch the mesh analysis videos uh, where I have posted around uh, two or three videos related to mesh analysis and I have discussed some examples. So, you please check out those videos first. Okay, So, you understand these things in a better way. So, we are applying mesh analysis or KVL equation to the first mesh. So, it will be 10 minus 4 I 1 minus 6 I 2 is equal to 0. We will substitute the value. So, here 10 minus 4 I 1 minus 6 I 2 is equal to 0. So, we can make this substitution here. I 1 is equal to I 2 minus I 5. So, 10 minus 4 into I 2 minus 5 minus 6 I 2 is equal to 0. That implies 10 minus 4 I 2 plus 20 okay minus 6 i 2 
is equal to 0 that implies 30 minus 10 i 2 is equal to 0 that implies 10 i 2 is equal to 30 okay that implies i 2 is equal to 3 ampere okay i2 is equal to 3 ampere we have calculated one branch current value i2 i3 we have already determined i3 is equal to minus 5 ampere now i1 is equal to i2 plus i3 so i1 is equal to 3 plus i3 which is minus 5 amperes which is equal to minus 2 ampere ok i1 is equal to minus 2 ampere so you have determined all the current values values of all the currents i2 is equal to 3 ampere I3 is equal to minus 5 ampere, I1 is equal to minus 2 ampere. So, all we have to do is first identify the branch in which this independent current source is located. So, that branch current is we, we have already found out that branch current. Then we have to consider one point, okay. We have here we have considered this point and we applied the KCL okay the summation of all the currents at a particular point is 0. So, here we applied KCL I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 from there we established a relationship between I1 and I2 okay we got the relationship this relationship is very important then we applied KVL in this first mesh which is in terms of I1 and I2 then using this relationship between i1 and i2 we bought the equation in terms of only one variable okay here the only variable is i2 which is the unknown variable then we calculated the value of i2 then we put the value of i2 in this equation and got the value of i1 so it is uh, quite simple and straightforward next we'll discuss about the concept of super mesh where this current source will be common to all the meshes in the circuit network. Okay?